What's going on guys, I'm back with another Call of Duty Top 5 and in today's video this is going to be the Top 5 Reasons Why Call of Duty Ghost Was Bad. Now personally I don't think the game was bad but I do have to admit there are 5 points to kind of get out there and tell how the game failed and if you like the video like and also comment why you hate Call of Duty Ghost. You guys probably say that Call of Duty Ghost was bad or something and everything about it was bad but still I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, not a cop, so you can put what you like. And also, no matter what game you play, there's always going to be that one, two or three things that always don't seem right about the game. Whether it's been Call of Duty, Halo, Battlefield, Assassin's Creed, any anything. Even Mario and Sonic, there's even bad things about that game. No get, There's no game ever made that is 100% perfect. And so, without further ado... There are five reasons why I think Call of Duty Ghost was bad. This is one thing that I wasn't really supposed to be on the top five, but I just had to put it anyway. And coming in at number five, it's the fish AI system. Not really, not really the fish I think. Actually, the fish AI system ain't too bad. It's more of the fact on how one of the Infinity War developers presented it. Uh, I think it was like E3 or Gamescom or summer in 2013, and they were saying like this is they were just saying it as if it was like the next big thing. Like now we have the technology to make it so you swim past fish and they swim away, and we're just like, wow, that's definitely gonna be the next big thing. And we're just like, fuck no, it's not gonna be the next big thing. Why? Why the hell do we care about fish moving out of the way? And speak of that, they only used it in one level. One underwater level. They didn't really, they didn't put it in a multiplayer map. Or any of the, well actually I don't think you could put underwater in extinction maps. They could have tried, but meh. Never mind, extinction wouldn't seem pretty good underwater. And yeah, so number five is the fact that they tried to trick us with thinking Fish AI was going to be the best thing about Call of Duty Ghosts. At number 4, this is going to be the weird micro DLC that they put in. Now, some of the DLC isn't really too bad, like, obviously the big map packs were good, the extinction maps were excellent. And, um, I kind of like the Snoop Dogg voice pack, it's pretty funny, like you just said there. Um, the Drill Instructor 1 wasn't really, I don't know, well, I can see why they put the Drill Instructor 1 in there, because he was, uh, I think he was an actual drill, former Drill Instructor in real life, and, um, I don't know, I don't know, it was something like that, but the main, the main DLC which I found pretty stupid was all the, all the camos and the spare, and the spare crater class slots, and, um, the fact is that you get, Six class setups free, technically, because you've got to get squad points. Then you have to pay like a pound, a pound sixty, which is in Brit, which is how much it is in Britain right now. Uh, I think it'll be like two dollars or something in America. And um, the, and uh, I think that was the same for the all the personalization packs as well. I pretty much I didn't find all of them too good. I got the unicorn one. Uh, I got the Unicorn one, the Hydra one, and I think the other one I got was the Extinction one. I don't know. And also, also the 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 astronaut guy. Why would you want to be an astronaut? Not to mention it costs like I think it costs like four quid just to look like an astronaut. And um, pretty much, I didn't really buy any of the big DLC. All I did was bought the Captain Price pack, and then I just. I was just pretty much Captain, was just Captain Price. Unfortunately, some the micro DLC that I bought, which is probably yeah the Unicorn, the Hydra, the blah blah the what's it called, the Extinction one, the Captain Price thing. None of it actually went on to my Xbox One. Fortunately, my map packs went on, and I'm pretty and I'm pretty grateful for that. I I think I'd rather have my map packs on it and my I think I'd rather have my season pass and my map packs on here rather than my personalization packs only. 
And, um, yeah, so most of the DLC was just weird. Obviously, it's nothing compared to friggin' what's his face, Sledgehammer, putting fucking supply drop on there for a pound 59. Are you fucking serious? But still, there was a lot of weird DLC, and that's the reason why this con this Call of Duty goes suck. Coming in at the number three spot, and this is going to be the fact that the last gen and the current gen versions of Call of Duty Ghosts were practically the same. And I f when I originally got Call of Duty Ghosts, I got it on Xbox 360, and then once I got my Xbox One, a few months later I got Call of Duty Ghosts on uh, the on the Xbox One. But unfortunately, what happened was is I pretty much didn't realise a difference and I still don't actually um, there is literally no difference between the 360 or the Xbox One versions of these games like um, I feel like they're practically the same and um, so well actually to be honest Xbox One's version is probably slightly darker than the 360's but um, and obviously this is this isn't because of brightness. I had the brightness on the same for both. I had the brightness on the same, and pretty much that sort of thing. I just paid like twenty quid for um, for a game that pretty much is just darker. Why do you want Why do you want a game that's darker? I know it kind of sets a mood. Like it definitely does an extinction because obviously that's kind of evil. So a dark kind of like atmosphere would be good on that, but still, not really good on a multiplayer map. Which actually, to be fair, it actually would because it's actually war. But uh, war is never a nice thing. But still, it's it's not. It shouldn't be dark as in like even on maps like um, I don't know, probably strike zone. That shouldn't be dark. That's set in the day, and it's a friggin' baseball friggin'. I think it's a baseball stadium, or just a stadium in general, I don't know. But still, the fact that the 360 and the Xbox One versions of the game of Call of Duty Ghosts are practically the same comes in at number three. Coming in at the number two spot, this is going to be the fact that um, some of the maps in Call of Duty Ghosts were a bit too large. Mainly four, I'm thinking of, and that's Stonehaven, um, Siege, Whiteout, and Stormfront. Stormfront wasn't really a bad map, but the fact that it was large didn't really have, didn't really, but, well, it's like that with Stonehaven. I think Stormfront and Stonehaven aren't bad maps, it's just the fact that they're so big, um, game doesn't really end. <laughs> takes ages to end and um, I was thinking maps like this should be on advanced warfare because everyone will just be exosuiting everywhere and they'll be able to get around the place but without, but since this is ghosts you don't have the exosuit so you've got to walk you got to walk or run everywhere and it's just it's just frustrating of how how long it takes for you to get one side of the map to the other and yeah they were trying to make it seem like a battlefield kind of thing. So number two is going to be the fact that some of the maps were way too large. You're running around on Bayview and you think you're having a fun time. You go along and then all of a sudden you hear a bleeping and then you get away from it and then it explodes and you kind of survive and then you look at someone and what have they got? M27 Thermal. Coming in at the number one spot, and this is going to be the fact that I think Call of Duty Ghosts was pretty much made to be a camping game. No one, like everyone who plays Call of Duty Ghosts now, probably except me, because I still rush around. I camp sometimes on it, but not very often. Under the worst camping spots possible. So it's not, it's in like, it's in like corners after I've just been fit, after I've just been chased. So I get, I get chased, run around the corner, and then shoot them when they go past. And that's like a normal strategy for Call of Duty. And the main problem about this is, obviously, like I said, the IEDs and the thermal 
thermal M20, well not just M27s, either thermal M27s or the LSAT. I don't think thermal and melee is even a problem in this game, I think that's more in advanced warfare. And, um, yeah, and there's amplify, which is a problem, oh my god. The fact that amplify, it, wait, what, yeah, amplify, it loudens your footsteps, I don't know, I, I'm crap at English. It makes your footsteps louder, that's it. Makes your footsteps louder, and also, if you have dead silence, tough shit, it deactivates dead silence. I mean, are you serious? And yeah, yeah, I pick up a thermal LMG here, but I never freaking use it. Um, and I just think, are you serious? Why would you do so like that? And the Bulldogs, everyone said the Bulldogs were pretty much a problem. They weren't for me. I don't really see people with Bulldogs that often there. And, um, mainly with the camping, it's more of the IEDs and the thermal LMGs, pretty much. Pretty much. That's all you see now, camping-wise. The rest, like, Dead Silence, Amplify, Riot Shields, Ghillie Suits. Well, everyone uses Ghillie Suits these days. But other than that, it's pretty much thermal LMGs and IEDs, pretty much. So, at number one, the reason why Call of Duty Ghost is crap, and I shouldn't even be considering this why it's crap, because this is more of, like, the players. Not more of like the game, but still, they're part of the games. They pretty much play the game, so in a way, it's kind of part of the game. So thank you for watching my top five reasons why Call of Duty Ghost was crap. If you could, leave a like, and also comment why you hate Call of Duty Ghosts. And also, uh, subscribe to my channel, and that would be really appreciated, and it will help me out a lot. And also, if you want me to do any top fives of, you, of your own, Leave in the comment section below, and if it's interesting enough, I will make it a video, and you may even get a shout out. And yep, so thank you for watching Top 5 Reasons Why I Called Ghost Was Crap, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye!